Philippines, a growing investment hub. Philippines witnesses a surge in foreign direct investments, a deep dive. In a recent financial revelation, the Philippines reported a net inflow of $753 million in foreign direct investment, FDI, in July, marking a 35.7% increase compared to the same period last year. This significant rise in FDIs was primarily driven by non-residents' net investments in debt instruments, which more than doubled. However, this development was offset by a decrease in non-residents' net investments in equity capital and reinvestment of earnings. The top countries contributing to equity capital placements were Japan, the United States, and Singapore. These investments were predominantly channeled into sectors such as manufacturing, real estate, and financial and insurance industries. Despite the monthly increase, FDI net inflows from January to July were 14.7% lower than the previous year, highlighting global concerns over slowing growth. Addressing Challenges and Enhancing Investment Climate Despite its potential, the Philippines has been lagging behind other ASEAN countries in terms of attracting foreign investment. The country grapples with challenges such as poor infrastructure, high power costs, slow broadband connections, regulatory inconsistencies, and corruption. Further, the complex and slow judicial system hinders the timely resolution of commercial disputes. However, the country has been proactively making efforts to improve its investment climate. Amendments to the Public Services Act and the Retail Trade Liberalization Act have opened previously closed sectors of the economy to 100% foreign investment. The amendments to the Foreign Investment Act have also eliminated restrictions on foreign ownership of export enterprises. Reforms and Incentives, a Pathway to Investment Attraction The Philippines has also implemented the Corporate Recovery and Tax Incentives for Enterprises, CREATE, Act, which reduces the corporate income tax rate and mandates performance-based fiscal incentives. The country's special economic zones, particularly those operated by the Philippine Economic Zone Authority, PEZA, offer a more favorable business environment with regulatory transparency and streamlined services for investors. The Philippine government is committed to maintaining infrastructure spending and encouraging public-private partnerships in infrastructure development. Looking ahead, the future of foreign investments in the Philippines. While the Philippines still faces challenges in attracting foreign investment, the country's efforts to improve its investment climate and open up various sectors to foreign ownership are positive steps. With its growing economy and young and educated workforce, the Philippines has the potential to be an attractive destination for foreign investment in the future. As the country continues to implement reforms and foster a conducive investment climate, it could witness a sustained increase in foreign investments, driving economic growth and development. Investors' confidence remains solid in pH with high reinvested earnings, rising foreign investment approvals, says DTI. Investors' confidence remains solid in the country as evidenced by high reinvested earnings and rising foreign investment approvals despite the decline in the Philippines' foreign direct investment, FDI, inflows in the first semester of this year, Department of Trade and Industry, DTI, Secretary Alfredo Pascual said on Monday. Pascual issued the statement in response to a news report saying FDI declined by 20% to $3.9 billion in the first half of 2023 compared to the same period last year based on Banco Central Ng Pilipinas, BSP, data. In summary, although FDI in the Philippines declined in the first semester of 2023, there remains solid foreign investor confidence in the country as demonstrated by the high reinvested earnings and the rising foreign investment approval by BOI and other IPAs, investment promotion agencies, Pasquale said. According to Pasquale, it is essential to recognize that FDI numbers reflect decisions investors made well before the actual funds inflow recorded by BSP. Global financial conditions, especially the high inflation and interest rates during the first half of 2023, contributed to this FDI decline. However, such decline is not a phenomenon unique to the Philippines. Other ASEAN countries also experience drops in their FDI, he said. Factors such as inflation rates and investment rates substantially influence FDI decisions. Stable inflation and competitive interest rates generally attract FDI, whereas high inflation and unfavorable rates can repel foreign investors, Pasquale noted. Under the Marcos Jr. administration, 
a representative metric of investment performance is the foreign investment approvals by the DTI's IPAs. Pasquale emphasized that there are also foreign investments in the Philippines that are not registered with the IPAs and they happen without going for incentives. He also pointed out that since 2022, there has been a consistent increase in these approvals by the DTI Board of Investments, BOI, and other IPAs. Total IPO approvals from January to June 2022 were at $1.06 billion, from July to December 2022, $3.28 billion US dollars, and, from January to June 2023, and $8.45 billion US dollars. FDI in a particular year does not solely arise from recent investment leads. FDI inflows could be based on decisions made years prior and might be realized in stages over time. The gestation period, or the time from initiation to realization, varies considerably depending on factors like the project's nature, the involved sector, and the host country's regulatory environment. However, it is crucial to understand the realization of timelines of these investments. FDI in a particular year does not solely arise from recent investment leads. FDI inflows could be based on decisions made years prior and might be realized in stages over considerably depending on actors like the project's nature, the involved sector, and the host's country regulatory environment. For example, BPO centers, if expanding or within established spaces, might only take months. Yet, if constructing a new facility, the timeline extends. Manufacturing projects, especially if new, can take four to five years. Renewable energy projects have varying timelines, with large-scale projects needing several years. The future looks promising, given the rising trend in foreign investment approvals by BOI and our other IPAs and the continued efforts to promote the Philippines as an attractive investment destination, Pasquale added. An aggressive push for foreign investment. Just a short time ago, certain sectors in the Philippines had to have a majority local owner, making it difficult for external firms to enter the market. However, recent legislation to update acts such as the Retail Trade Liberalization Act of 2000 and the Foreign Investments Act of 1991, also known as the Public Services Act, has opened up the market, making foreign direct investment simpler and more rewarding. Foreign investors can now own 100% of their ventures in certain critical industries, including infrastructures such as telecoms, airports, seaports, rail and renewable energy projects. This has stirred a lot of interest from traditional investors such as the US, but also from nascent trading partners, including countries like Denmark and Belgium in Europe. The Philippines is also a member state of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, comprising 10 nations of Southeast Asia with a combined GDP of 3.3 trillion US dollars in 2021, equal to roughly 3.4% of world GDP.